Hey, this is Rene. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And today I want to talk about this smart money concept indicator uh, once again and probably for the last time for now. And today we will add these lines, um, which are the break of structure lines. So if you haven't watched the previous um, two parts of this tutorial, you should definitely do so before watching this video, because otherwise you probably won't be able to follow along. But um, let's jump right back into our source code here into, into, um, in the uh, meta editor. So we have this uh, smart money concept uh, YouTube program so far. This should be the source code that, that you have by now. And <clears throat> if we want to work with, um, uh, if you want to identify these break of structure lines and if we want to draw them in the chart, we first of all have to identify if there is a trend lately where we have um, or where we can find a new high or low or a new break of the previous high or low. And for this reason, we cannot only work with the last high or low, but instead we will need the previous one also. So what we will do essentially is we will have the last time for the high and um, then we will have the last time for the low and we want to have the previous time for the high. So the second last uh, and the previous time for the low. And now since we have all of these variables, we will have to fill them with life. But first, but first of all, if we compile, we will of course get an error because last time was just mm, renamed. So we will have to rename it in the source code too. So here we will have to put last time high always for the highs and for the lows we will put last time low of course and like this and if we compile the errors should be gone and if we have a look at our program it should um, work just like it did before now of course since we have this uh, previous time low now we want to update this just before we change the value of the last time low variable so we will put the previous last time low variable in the previous time uh, low variable and then we will update the last time low variable so it holds the value for the last low and this will hold the value for the previous last low <laughs> if we can say it like this and same of course for the previous time high <clears throat> everything is just the same. So if we compile this, I mean, the program doesn't change, of course, but, but now we have the timestamps of the last two highs and the last two lows. And this is what we can use now to um, get the index of the last high, which will be um, this, of course. Whoops. Like this. And since we get this value here, we no longer have to get it here and now. And we will just do this four times for the low and the previous high and the previous low. Previous low like this. So last time low here, make sure to update all the variables so you do not mess up your code. Time low like this. And if we compile, now we are starting to get, uh, get some errors, of course, because here, um, last age, we will have to update these variables again because I just changed the name. And last L. And like this, now again, code should be working and program should be looking just fine. So what we want to do now, now since we have access to the to the index of the last four uh, highs and lows, we will just check first of all if these values are greater than zero because otherwise we will get some um, errors later on. Zero and index previous L is greater than zero like this. And here, of course, we have to check if it's greater than zero too. If we compile this, now we can start to get going here. So what we want to do now is for a break of structure for a, um, uh, a, a buy trend, we first of all want to check if there is a buy trend, right? So we can, for example, define this trend like this. If high at index last high is greater than high at index previous high and low at index last low 
is greater than low at index previous low, which means we have two rising highs and two rising lows. And if this is given, then we can check if close at I is greater than uh, the last high. And if close um, maybe, yeah, it could be, yeah, I think we can do it like this. And then we can create the object. So let's get the object name, which will be um, smart money concept, uh, break of structure, plus time to string. And here we want to get the time of this um, index last high that we just broke through. And then we can say object create in the current chart with the object name that we just created. This will be a object trend, which is a trend line in this uh, zeros uh, sub window. And now we need the time. Uh, the first time is of course the time of index last high. And then we get the first or the price, which is um, high index last high, I think. And then we get the time at I, where we broke through this. And then we get the high at index last high again as a second data point for our line. So if we do everything like this, <clears throat> we should hopefully see some, oh, this looks a little bit messed up, but I mean, the I, I see where it's going and it's not looking too bad, but it's not all correct. So let me check this again. So in, I think the diff, this is of course correct. We just check if the value is greater than zero. Index last high is greater than index previous high or the highest, and the last high is greater than the previous high and the last low. Oh, this is bullshit, of course. This has to be greater than the previous low. So this should already change something, but it still looks kind of messed up. So let, let's try to fix this. If close is greater than high at index last high. Okay, so I figured out one important thing. Uh, and because we are working with the close um, array here, we will of course have to set this as series before we do so. So when we do this and have a look at the code again, it's still completely messed up. So this was not uh, the solution, but it's still necessary to do so. So, <laughs> okay, I just figured out this was indeed important, um, but the uh, um, drawing did not update because we didn't delete the previous ones. So what we have to do is um, we have to add, first of all, add the on D in it function. Um, like this, and then in the onDNet function, we want to delete all the objects, and we can say objects delete all, and here for the current chart with a prefix a smart money concept, we want to delete all the objects, and then also before we create the new object here, we want to check if uh, object find object name or zero object name if this is smaller than zero, which means the object does not exist because we only want to draw it once. And when we did all of these things, we can then update everything. And now we don't see anything at all. Okay, now that I compiled it again, it now seems to work. So we can see whenever we have like uh, two rising highs, two rising lows, and then jump above the last high, we should see this uh, break of structure here um, printed. And this example is not really correct, I think. Okay, I figured it out. This was an issue because there was a previous high, which was uh, this one here, I think. And um, uh, yeah, that's a problem. If there are two following highs and this high is new, then um, the variable um, uh, previous 
uh, time high will be this and this is deleted so we will have to take care of this so we can do so by saying um, this should only be updated if highs um, index last high is ungleich uh, is unequal empty value and we can do the same or we have to do the same thing of course here for the lows lows at next last low is unequal empty value so if we compile it again now this should be gone and yeah when it's updated it's now gone so you can see now this looks all clean <laughs> somehow clean i mean of course you have these messy sideways periods uh, where you do not draw anything but the rest seems kind of fine i would say i uh, don't really know why this structure was not broken probably because there was no close above above the structure yes that's the reason okay so never mind let's add the code for this uh, for the lows now so here it's really easy we just copy this block up here and then exchange all the mm, uh, operators here so we want to have falling highs falling lows and we want to have a close uh, a close after the last low and then of course we will have to update everything here so we choose the right variables but the rest is pretty much the same and of course we do not draw at the high but instead at the low this time like this so if we compile again now we should also see the break of structures for the lows and once this is reloaded let's search for some break of structures for lows yes there are some break of structures for the uh, for the for the short trends and yeah you can see this is a uh, attempt to objectify or to 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 automatically um, draw highs and lows and break of structures in your chart and this is completely without any human interpretation which kind of makes this uh, usable for automated trading strategies i mean of course this is not really perfect and there are some modifications and i know that the smart money concept uh, concept for example does not uh, or it would not see these uh, inner highs and lows like for example um, it would not see these highs and lows because we are in a uptrend but even if I modify the code so these highs and lows are not um, uh, taken into account here, there are still some issues at other other points because it's just like the smart money concept, like people teach it. It's just not following strict rules and not like not 100%. That's why you cannot really build a perfect program for it, I would say. But this is, like I said, a first approach. Uh, you can, of course, use this code, modify it, as you like maybe i will modify it a bit and uh, then build some expert advisors on top of it uh, maybe you will see it on youtube but i think i won't do too much uh, explaining here on youtube because i just realized in this tutorial uh, i often like uh, have to look back and forth and as the code begins to become a little bit more complex it's hard to really explain everything for absolute beginners and um yeah, if I would want to explain everything in a good way, I would have to prepare myself for these videos uh, really like uh, detailed and this is not really what I can do for YouTube. But if you are interested in a way of learning MQL5 programming where I teach everything with preparation and in the right order and with a um, good a good structure you can you can find a course for this in the description of this um, uh, of this youtube video but let's have a look at what we changed in this tutorial again i added these four global variables here for the times of the last four highs and lows then we ended, added the on dnet function here where we delete the objects when the program is removed from the chart we set the close array to a serious array then here we got all the indexes or indices for the last 
two highs and last two lows. Then we check if these um, in index variables have values. And if so, we check if there's a buy trend. Then we check if there was a close above the last uh, high. And if so, we, we draw the break of structure. And same thing here, but just reverse. We check for us for a short trend. We check if there was a close below the short, uh, the last low, and then we draw the break of structure line. And yeah, also we changed some things here in the original uh, stuff that we did to figure out where the highs and lows are. Of course, we exchanged all of these index variables and stuff with the right name now, since we use the index last H. Uh, and L, of course, variables now. And then also we made sure that the um, previous time H variable is updated. And this is only the case if we um, did not delete the last um, high or low, of course. And then, of course, here of, we have to rename everything so it fits the new um, variable names. But that's pretty much it. So you can see really... Um, I mean, this is not a super easy indicator because indicators like this are usually a little bit hard to, um, for, for me at least, to think myself into the logic and stuff. But just looking at the code, it's actually not a complex or long code. It's just roughly 100 lines of code. So this is kind of nothing. And it can really help to, to show the highs and lows. And of course, you can also use this program now in the strategy tester if you want to do so just click on overview oh sorry click an indicator or just choose the program that you wrote smart money concept and then yeah just give it a go in any symbol you like and it should um, also work in, in in real time here so let's have a look um, oh, actually, we get a error. So it's good that I tested this. So we'll have to take care of this error. 111, line 111. So here. So what I have to do here is, um, yeah, we have to check if index last L is even. Uh, ah, okay. So we can only do this if index so we have to check if index last l is uh, equal to minus one or if this is happening because if index last l is minus one it means that we were not able to get it up here so it means that we we just do not have the last time l um, already figured out so this is what we have to do so also here index last high is equal to minus one or this uh, rest. And now if I start the program again, it should look a lot, a lot better. So let me test the same program again in the strategy test and hopefully we, we will not see this same error now. So, okay, program is loaded, no error so far. And let's ch check out if, yeah, I mean, this looks kind of smooth. At least it is drawing everything. Um, let's wait for another clear trend. There was a short trend. There was a buy trend, but no break of structure. And um, yeah, so many highs and lows. There we saw a short, small, uh, small short trend. There is another longer trend. Yeah, you can see, so the program, it's not perfect, perfect, but it does the job um, so far. Again, take the code, modify it if you like, and if you're interested um, in, in learning how to write for the MetaTrader 5, check out the link in the video description. That's it um, for this short series on the small money, uh, smart money concept indicator. Thanks for watching. Have a great time. Good trades. Bye.